Hey again, welcome back to Little Bits of Lisp, and this time we're going to look at Funcle and Apply. Um, so we've seen before how to define functions. It's a lot easier to see if I'm controlling the right computer. Um, here's our test function. And it, again, does something fairly silly. It just adds together two numbers, so we pass it 1 and 2, and it gives us 3. But um, functions in common Lisp, and nowadays in many languages, are first class, which means they can be passed around as values, just like any other value. So just like one is a value, a function is a value. And if you've seen our um, evaluation model video, that I, one of the earlier ones I did, you'll have seen that we can use this syntax, hash quote, um, to return the function named test in this case. So the function named by a certain symbol. And so this is it. This is the function. This is the actual function as a value. And we can pass this around. We can give it to functions. We can store it in variables, whatever it is. But now we've got it. How do we use it? How do we call it? So let's say we want to do the equivalent of this up here, this calling test12. What we can do is we can say fun call test and then provide the arguments. Let's see down in the mini buffer down here. You can see what we have to provide. We have fun call, which is a function, and then we pass in a function. Now, just so you know, functions that take functions are called higher order functions, but it's just a fancy name. It's just functions that take functions. And then the rest of the arguments passed to fun call are going to be used as the arguments to this function. So one and two become the arguments to test. So let's hit return, and we can see three, just like this. And just like before, if you pass in only one argument, it's going to complain that you've given it the wrong number of arguments. See right here. Or if you pass in too many, exactly the same deal. Valid number of arguments, three. You've called test with one, two, and three. So this is exactly the same thing. Um, so again, it doesn't make much sense in this case. Let me just clear this and bring back so we've got a bit more clarity. It doesn't make sense in normal code like if we can if we can write this out where test is a literal here we may as well just write this but there's a lot of time we're going to be passing values around um, we're going to write functions that take functions so let's see an example of that um, there is a function called map car and it takes a function and then some number of lists and it calls the function uh, with the values in those lists and produces a new list that sounds a bit weird I've explained it not very well there but let, let me just show you what's going on let's say we pass in test and then we pass in one two three and another list 10 20 30 what just happened is it called test once with one and ten then it called, which gave us 11. It called test again with 2 and 20, which gave us 22. It called it again with 3 and 30, which gave us 33. And then it ran out of elements in the lists, so it stopped. And it brought them all back in a new list. So this is a function that takes another function and some values. So this function can be written without knowing what it's going to be given. And it can still do something useful. And that's very cool. We're going to see this all over the place. And it's one of those things that can make, again, it's the, the functional style of programming. It's passing functions around. Um, but it's very important. And it's just a, a nice thing to see. We'll, we'll cover more actual uses of this in different videos. But for now, it's just worth seeing that this can be done. Now, let's say we had a different case. We've got 1 and 2, but they're in a list. OK? So we can't just call test with a list of two things because it's saying, hey, you just called test with one argument, which was a list containing one and two. I don't know what to do with that. This is um, an invalid number of arguments because test always takes two arguments. So we can't use fun call in this case. We can use something called apply. And what this does is it takes the elements out of the list and it uses the first element as the first argument and the second element as the second argument. So now if we call it, we can see that we get three back again. Test was called with two arguments, this one and this one. And again, the same normal rules. Like if we provide too few values, it's going to complain that we've only passed test number one. If this list contains too many things, then it's going to complain, hey, you passed in too many things. So it's exactly the same as, again, calling our functions, but this time we're taking the values out of a list. 
So that's all I want to cover in this video for now. We'll get into more kind of uses of this and designing kind of higher order functions another time. Uh, but we'll save that for another time. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Ciao.